Dear students, today we will learn another internet application known as VoIP, Voice over IP. So it uses internet infrastructure to provide voice communication similar to that of traditional telephone systems. So this means we want to replace the traditional telephone systems with the internet infrastructure which we have and using that internet infrastructure we want to make the voice communication between two computers or two devices or two users whether they are um, existing in different parts of the world so normally VoIP is consisted of two processes one process is installed or being used at one end of the computer and second process is being used at the second end of the computer between which you want to uh, establish a communication link. So however, VoIP has different challenges as well. For example, how to initiate and receive the call. So it is a challenge because you normally do not have the standard telephone. So how it will ring the bell and then how that call will be picked up, etc. And then how linking of VoIP with the traditional telephones will be established. So it might be possible that I, I have a VoIP software and I want to use that VoIP software but where I want to make the call that user doesn't have VoIP software and they have the traditional telephone. So it means that there should be a link between VoIP software with the traditional telephones so which is a challenge to a company. And then there are different services like emergency services 112215 in Pakistan, for example, and similarly in USA, there is 911. So all of such services, how they can be linked with VoIP softwares, it is again a challenge. And then companies consider VoIP as a threat to their business because the traditional telephone owning companies, they basically make sure that their business is not destroyed by using the VoIP softwares. So they make sure that uh, heavy, heavy amount of tax is imposed on VoIP softwares and then sometime they say that it is outlawed, that it is out of the law, it is against the law to use such software because they can also save your voice. So by making some certain assumptions, they try to get rid of it. Um, apart from all of such discussion, there are still four types of VoIP softwares available nowadays, VoIP systems available nowadays. One is VoIP soft phones, another analog telephone adopters, embedded telephone, uh, embedded VoIP phones and wireless VoIP technologies available. So let's discuss them one by one. VoIP soft phones are basically peer-to-peer -peer softwares. So this means Two computers or two users want to communicate both have the VoIP software installed and the example of VoIP soft phone is Skype. So you might have used the Skype which is uh, con um, uh, establishing a connection between two users. Both have Skype installed. However, they also made a facility for the users that they can also uh, make a call to traditional telephones as well of course by paying something. However, Skype to Skype call is free. Uh, its drawback is that it's proprietary. It means that operational standards are not publicly known that how they actually perform or operate. Then there is another analog telephone adopters are available under the VoIP systems. So these are the devices that allow a user to connect his or her traditional telephone to phone device which is available into the access ISP. And the choice is frequently bundled with traditional internet service or digital television service or cable service, which, whichever you take from there, from the uh, ISP, access ISP. Then there are embedded VoIP phones are also available. So these are the devices that are replacing the traditional telephones. So they have ev each and everything embedded in the phones. So you can use such devices as a normal traditional phone and they have they are equivalent handset connected directly to TCP IP network. And then there are wireless wipe technology. So this wireless wipe technology 
is basically whenever we want to use wireless phone previously so those phones have to use the company's internet the network their protocol and they access through the gateway of the company however with the technologies like 4g in pakistan and in other world so network is an ip based network throughout this mean your 4g is a stand alone or is a device which has its own ip it's like a, a laptop or it's like a computer which has its own ip to connect throughout to the internet so if we summarize today's uh, topic we have learned about challenges of wip and then wip soft phones analog telephone adopters embedded wip phones and wireless wip technology